Ross Jackson. I, I, Hold I, your I, applause. I almost, I almost <laughs> broke the glass to get this, to get this Stone Cold thing. We, we, Chris Olave was a name we mentioned yeah. in, in our pre-show of that, that could be here, but it's going to be a trade up. They're yes. giving up the 16th pick plus two, uh, the third and fourth round picks to move up. Why make this move if you're New Orleans? New Orleans needed this selection. They needed to get this right in order to be that playoff contender that y'all were just talking about, in order to be able to contend within this conference like we were discussing earlier. And Chris Olave has the exact set of tools that are necessary opposite Michael Thomas, who's expected to make his return in 2022, and allow the Saints to finally add that layer of dynamic that maybe they haven't had probably since the last time they traded up for a wide receiver in the first round in Brandon Cooks. And so now they end up moving up here and getting an opportunity to really, really, really be able to set off this offense in favor of Jameis Winston, set it up for 2022 and set it up for hopefully a run. And they don't go with Jameis and Williams, who I think would have been a great selection as well, as we were discussing earlier. But now they get the guy that's going to be able to start for you week one, right? Croc, what, what, do, you, what do you see with Chris Olave with the Saints? Big time ability. You know, there are some people that were comparing him to Keenan Allen because of some of the route running ability, and I won't go that far. But he's definitely a guy who is very smooth in and out of his breaks. Talk about a guy that uses his hands to catch the ball. The vertical ability, and we saw that big time in HD when playing with Justin Fields. There's a lot to like about his game. And aside from all that, man, he's from California. So, you know, we breed a lot of ballers down, down there. <laughs> it, it, does, does this pick come – because of the fit with Michael Thomas. Is this with the expectation he will be out there or as a Michael Thomas replacement? So it can be a little bit of both, right? Because Chris Olave is one of those receivers that does have the, let's just say, tools to be able to develop into a quintessential wide receiver one. Maybe not necessarily your, your traditional X receiver, but in terms of the spread offense, where these offenses are going in the NFL, the modern day of receivers and offenses, he could be a guy that could step in and be your number one production tool, right? But right now, it's about the fit across from Michael Thomas. Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, they were in contact before and throughout this entire draft process. And they were also in contact before that because you had Michael Thomas that was kind of rooting these guys on. They're both Buckeyes. They're both Ohio State alum now. And they both now punched their ticket to New Orleans and Airline Highway, the Superdome. It's going to be a really, really fantastic offense finally after seeing that offensive production last year really dropped off, particularly in the passing game. 